So I just recently got a brand new tattoo about three days ago and it's starting to approach the second stage of the healing process. So in today's video, I'm gonna walk you through everything I'm doing to heal my tattoo up perfectly. This is part two of a three part series. So if you missed part one, just catch it at the end of this video. So it's day four of the tattoo healing process and I've been washing my tattoo about five times a day and applying Aquaphor after every wash. And now I'm noticing that my skin is starting to feel really dry dry and very tight. As you can see right here. When your tattoo is starting to feel tight and dry, it's preparing the peel. When my skin starts to feel very tight and very dry, it's my body telling me that I should be cutting back with washing that tattoo. So I'm gonna be cutting back from washing it five times a day to about three times a day. Now I noticed over time from having so many tattoos that if you wash that tattoo too many times while it's peeling, you'll most likely need to get a touch up in the end from interfering with the peeling process too much. So when my tattoo starts to get to this stage of the peeling process, I know that it's about to peel. So when it comes to washing the new tattoo, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be extremely gentle when applying the suds and just washing it off. And you still wanna wash it the same exact way with the waterfall technique, don't soak the tattoo and when it comes to the soap, I'm still using the unscented antibacterial soap for that and apply it very gently. Like I said, the tattoo is about to peel and drying it the same exact way, brand new paper towels right over the new tattoo. I don't really like to peel it when it gets to this stage. I just like to dab it just very gently, not too rough. Don't want to disturb anything with the healing process. So just like this. Make sure that sucker is nice and dry. Now, instead of using the Aquaphor like we've been using for the first couple days, we're gonna ditch the Aquaphor and switch to an unscented body lotion. Now, Aquaphor is a perfect product to heal your tattoo for the first couple days, but because of how thick of a product it is, it can be a little bit too extreme for a peeling tattoo. Don't wanna rip out those skin flakes. So the body lotion that I typically use to heal all of my brand new tattoos is Lubriderm Unscented Body Lotion. It's a very thin lotion so it doesn't clog my pores or make me break out while at the same time moisturizing the skin nice and good. And realistically, you only need to use a very little amount because this goes a long way. So what I'll do for the size of my tattoo is just do one pump just like that and that's it. Just like the Aquaphor, you don't want to apply too much lotion to the tattoo because it can clog your pores and cause breakouts. No good. And then after I have it in my hand, what I'll do is I'll just dab it all around the tattoo. Just to evenly distribute the lotion. Don't let it just, you know, dab it on one area and then rub it in. Like I said, the skin is very tight and you don't want to be doing all that to your tattoo. And I know this is kind of a weird angle, so here's a better one just so you see what I'm talking about. So then once it's all dabbed up all around the tattoo, as you can see right here, just start rubbing it in gently into the skin. Make sure you're getting all the parts of the tattoo and don't let any of the lotion clump up in any certain areas. Because again, we don't wanna break out on a new tattoo. It's annoying, it can be painful, and it could also be harmful to your new tattoo. And silly me, I put a little bit too much lotion over the new tattoo, but this is a great little trick that I've learned over the years. Just like we did with the Aquaphor in part one, grab yourself a new paper towel and then just dab it over top of the new tattoo gently. Again, always be gentle with it, but just dab it just like this to remove some of that extra lotion that is too much on your new tattoo. Doing this will remove a lot of the lotion while at the same time leaving the perfect amount to moisturize that tattoo. And I know we're focusing on healing the new tattoo right now, but as we're moisturizing that bad boy, you wanna show some love to your other tattoos as well. It's always good to lotion your tattoos all the time just so your skin is healthy and with healthy skin is better looking tattoos. Okay, so we're on day five of the healing process and as you can see right here, it's definitely starting to peel like crazy. So with the peeling getting worse, I'm still going to continue washing the tattoo two to three times a day and right after washing it, moisturizing it just like normal. So with the peeling getting worse, I'm going to be even more gentle when washing 
and moisturizing that tattoo. Now, when your tattoo starts to get to this stage of the peeling process and you're doing things like washing and moisturizing the tattoo, skin flakes are bound to fall off. So don't get freaked out about it. The true key when washing and moisturizing your tattoo at this stage of the peeling process is to limit the amount of skin flakes that fall off. And when it comes to applying the lotion, I don't really like to rub the lotion in that much. What I'm gonna do is just kinda like dab it. So just like dab it around the tattoo. Doing this is gonna apply the lotion without rubbing it in. Cause when you rub it in, it can possibly rip out flakes that you do not wanna do because that could cause ink extraction and make your tattoo kinda look spotty. So what I'll do is I'll just do this, smack it around it. And then if I can, if I see an area that isn't peeling that bad yet, I'll like to rub it in just very, very gently. Like this spot right over here in Vegeta's armor rub it in just very gently and then just kind of leave it like that. I also want to add when you get to this stage of the peeling process, I'm dealing with it right now, your skin is going to feel very itchy and you do not want to scratch it. Whenever it looks or feels dry, just apply a little bit more lotion to that tattoo. Itchy skin is caused by the dryness and how your body is healing. And as bad as I want to scratch this bad boy right now, I cannot do it because it could damage the tattoo and also disturb the healing process. Applying more of that lotion is not only going to soothe the skin and relieve that itch, but it's also going to help with the dryness. And also, if your skin gets really itchy, which mine has been itching like crazy, you just want to, you know, dab it. Like I said in other videos before, you don't wanna friggin' beat the tattoo, but you just wanna, you know, hit it, and that will help you relieve the itch. All right, so it's day six right now. As you can see right here, the tattoo is super dry and super flaky looking. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut back even more when it comes to washing that tattoo. I'm only gonna wash it about twice a day and gonna apply the moisturizer whenever it looks or feels dry, keeping this thing moisturized because the more the skin is moisturized, the better it's going to heal up. But with that said, don't overdo it. You never wanna over moisturize the tattoo. Just keep it moisturized steadily throughout your day. All right, so it's day seven right now. You can still see some peeling on the back of the arm right where Vegeta's like kind of hand is where he's shooting the energy blaster. There's still quite a few more peeling areas that need to still peel. So what I'm gonna do now is gonna reduce the washing even more to about only once a day when I typically shower. You still wanna use the unscented antibacterial soap. I wouldn't use any kind of shower, you know, utensils or shower body wash yet. You don't wanna do that and it could also be too rough on your tattoo removing those flakes. So just keep to washing it with your hands using the unscented antibacterial soap. And again, keep the tattoo moisturized, but not too much. So after today, the tattoo should be 98 to 99% peeled. You still wanna moisturize it though. You really wanna just keep moisturizing it for the rest of the time that you're having the tattoo. And I do wanna add that a lot of people think that as soon as your tattoo gets done peeling that it's fully healed. And that is not the case. There are still some things you need to do. So you're gonna to wanna to check out part three right here on how to properly heal a new tattoo and if you missed part one check that video out right here if you found this video helpful be sure to subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell notification just so you don't miss future videos i'll see you in the next video peace